But there is one piece of important context that I think we should spend some time going through once more. Um, forgive the homemade graphic. So the state's projections from CU researchers are heavily dependent on something we've talked about, the, the r naught. This is the measure of contagiousness of the virus. And the whole idea is, so an r naught of two means that one person with the virus is likely to give it to two people. Again, they give it to two people, those two people give it to two people, and so on and so forth. The reason that the state has a, a worst case scenario, what we're describing as worst case scenario, is because they're counting on an R naught of four, a situation in which one person gives a virus to four people, and then it's 16, and then it's 64, and then it's 256 in the same period of time that a virus with an R naught of two would have only gone to 16 people. So it, it's not about this being twice as bad or twice as dangerous. It's many, many more times worse. So that's what we're talking about when we say the state's looking at a worst case scenario.